ever used a water gun and wondered, what if this thing could deal damage? Well, in this video, I installed a mod that adds in a bunch of water guns that can do that, with each one having its own ability. How strong are these water guns and will they be able to take down the final boss Moonlord? Stay tuned, because you're about to find out. Alright, let's get started. And of course, let's start by chopping down some trees for wood. So making the first water gun is fairly simple, actually. Uh, I believe... All I need is wood and acorn, right? To make the wooden sprinkler. 5 range damage, 4% critical strike chance. And it does have special effects, believe it or not. Additional acorn falls on an enemy, more damage when near a tree. And when it has a full pump, the enemy is slammed with a tree. Sounds very interesting. Alright, so let's make it. Workbench. And then, wooden sprinkler. Oh my! And we got Unreal on it. Okay, let's go. And then here on the bottom right, that is the pump. Or the capacity of the water gun. So, of course, ammo. We're going to need some water bottles. So we're going to have to find a desert biome, get the sand, and then we can make some bottles. Oh, perfect. Here it is. Alright, we'll start off with 79 sand blocks. So now I need to mine some stone to make a furnace. Alright, furnace is done. And now we can make glass. And then some bottles. And then jumping into this water, we should be able to make water bottles. There we go. Alright, 78 ammo. Now let's see what it does. 3, 2, 1. Oh, yes! Okay, so yeah, acorns fall. And then when it's fully pumped... Oh, I missed. A tree basically spawns on top of it. Awesome, okay. Honestly, this is pretty decent for a starter weapon. Alright, let's go ahead and start doing some mining now. Okay, what do we have in here? Tree spikes. Okay, I'll take those. Ooh, and there's a lot of amethyst here. Is this enough for a hook? Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay, there's a lot of gems here. Hopefully, I can get enough. It looks like there's enough sapphire. Oh yeah, plenty of sapphire. Okay. And we have our first life crystal here. Lovely. Alright, let's go ahead and make our sapphire hook. And let's also make the gold pickaxe. Okay, so the next weapon that I'll be aiming for is either the Golden Water Splitter, which is made from 20 gold bars, or the Sea Splasher. Uh, for the Sea Splasher, I think it's going to be much easier. I can just go straight to the ocean and get some coral, starfish, and seashells. Right now, I do not have, like, any gold bars at all. So I think that's the weapon that I'm going to aim for right now. And let's also make some NPC houses, because I do know there is one other new NPC in this mod. Alright, let's try to head over to the ocean now, and hopefully not get killed by any monsters. Okay, I think the jungle is too dangerous, so let's go to the left side. 11 seashells. Oh, we need one more. No. But we have enough of everything else. Oh, maybe there's some right here. Okay. I'll have to go back. Unless this is a she seashell? Oh, perfect. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we have pretty much everything then. So let's go back. Alright, let's make the sea splasher. Hurtful. Spawns additional bubbles, shoots three starfish that cling onto enemies. But I'm gonna need some more sand to make some more bottles. Because I have no ammunition right now. Okay, <laughs> mine a bunch of more sand. 439. Alright, let's test this bad boy out. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Oh! Okay. Oh, and there's, yeah, there's bubbles. Nice. Alright, let's go make some armor now. Tungsten helmet and... Tungsten chainmail. 
I'm probably gonna go back to the jungle now and try to get some more health, as well as some more accessories. And then our first boss, it's probably not gonna be the Eye of Cthulhu, but the King Slime instead. Because apparently after killing some bosses, whenever the new NPC comes, the NPC will start selling new weapons and other things like that. Okay, I kind of forgot. Can the gold pickaxe mine Crimtain ore? It can. Okay. That means we can probably make something really good. We can make the Crimson Rainer. Rains from the sky, summons a cloud with full pump. Full damage. Okay, well, I mean, if we do get enough Grimtain Ore, then we'll do that instead. Oh, okay, got some rubies. That means we can now summon the King Slime. Okay, I think I should have enough to make the other water gun. Golden Water Splitter. Yeah, let's do it. Frenzying. Negative 17% damage, that's okay. So this one shoots two streams of water. And for a full pump, water streams split mid-air. Okay, let's see how that one works. And then before that, let's also finish up our tungsten armor. There we go. Let's wait for our pump to charge up. There we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Wait! I was expecting only... Is it four? Wait, that's way more. For some reason, I thought when you shoot, it'll just split like into two paths. But this thing goes crazy. There's like there's like 10 that came out. Wow. So it's basically like a shotgun. Alright, let's make a gold crown. And then I just need one more gel so I can make the slime crown. Oh, there's some. Okay, perfect. Alright, slime crown made. Let's go back. Okay, um, I was about to summon the king slime, but I guess not. We'll do the I have Cthulhu first. So I need to quickly make some more ammo, because I don't think 129 bottled water is going to be enough. Alright, here we go. We'll start with the golden splitter first. And then let's just see how that one does. Okay. Not too bad, let's do this one now. The sea splasher. Okay, um, pretty sure the Golden Splitter is way better, so we'll just stick with this one. Yeah, this is kind of rough because I don't have Hermes Boots. So I'm going to have to use my hook to dodge as many attacks as possible. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh. That was so close. That was way too close. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go use the nurse, but I was like, you know what? Maybe I got it. Maybe I got it. Alright. Oh! And we got warding on this. Beautiful. Now it's time to summon the King Slime. Three, two, one. And I think I'm also going to be using the Water Splitter. a few more shots oh god there we go does the slime gun count as a water gun probably not yeah no okay that's fine now that we have a lot more crimson bars we can make the crimson rainer rapid now do i need to attack an enemy for this to work let's just see boom oh boy that is sick Rains from the sky? If I just shoot normally? Okay. Wait. This is... Oh my... I'm actually really impressed. But yeah, it's probably going to be really bad when I'm underground. Because, um... I can't really pass through blocks. Alright, before I take on any other bosses, I will be getting more health. And my mobility kind of sucks right now, so... I'm gonna go search for Hermes Boots or Cloud in a Bottle. And if I get a Gravitation Potion, I'll go search for some Sky Islands and hopefully get some like Fledgling Wings or Shiny Red Balloon. Ooh, okay. Got the Extractinator. That means I can probably make the Fossil Armor to increase my range damage. 
There's another life crystal. Oh, I'm almost done maxing my health. Just need two more. Oh, and there's the last one. Alright. Now I have max health. Oh, there we go. And we got the gravitation potions. Nice. Alright, let's head back home now. Alright, let's go and make our fossil armor. This is going to take a while because I did mine a bunch of fossils. Alright. 99, 30 fossils. Fossil helmet, plate, and greaves. Alright. And we also got a 20% chance to not consume ammo. Okay, let's go search for some sky islands now. Wait, there's actually no sky islands on the right side. Wow. Okay, here's our first one. Star Fairy. Not what I wanted. Okay. Here's our second one. Shiny red balloon. Lovely. And this should have our fledgling wings. Nice. Okay. Okay, the next boss I'm going to fight is the Brain of Cthulhu. So let's head over to the Crimson. Okay. Are you kidding? Oh! Oh my god, I took way too much damage there. I could not get out of there. No, no, this is bad. Okay, I just need to make sure I dodge. Get my health back up, slowly. No, not like that. Okay, all the creepers are almost done. Okay, here we go. Second phase. Okay, slowly but surely. It's we're only dealing like one to three damage. Oh my god. Okay, we'll use the uh, Crimson Rainer for this one. The very last bit. I just need to stay at the very bottom here. So my projectiles don't get stuck up top. Oh, there we go. That was a bit stressful. And now let's make the Crimson Armor. And also the Deathbringer Pickaxe. Alright, I'm ready for Skeletron now. So let's head over to the dungeon. And build a quick arena. And this fight should go a lot better since now I can use the Crimson Rainer effectively. Since there's no blocks above me. Alright, arena is all done. Let's get it started. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I mean, it's going pretty well so far. Hands are like more than halfway done. That's one down. And that's two. Okay, just ahead. Oh, and the meteorite's falling. I'll go check that out later. Alright, that is done. Now let's head into the dungeon and try to find a cold shield. And I don't really think the shadow key is necessary. There we go, cobalt shield. First one. Very nice. Alright, for my next water gun, I am going to make the lava shark. And it's pretty simple. Just 16 hellstone bars. So I'm going to mine down to hell, get those bars, and then we can make it. It's going to be a big, big upgrade because it has 26 range damage. And I'm pretty sure this will be used against the wall of flesh. But yeah, let's go do that right now. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. The meteorite fell, I just remembered. So let's go find that first because there is another water gun we can make, which is the aqua zapper. All right, here it is. Now we make the Aqua Zapper. Water bounces off the walls and pierces enemies. For a full pump, spawns a water laser from space upon your enemies. Three, two, one. 
Okay, I think I might have to hit enemy first for the full pump effect to work. Let's see if we can find a slime somewhere real quick. But yeah, it does bounce. So it's kind of like the water bolts in a way. All right, let's test it out now. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do it again. Wait, wouldn't this be really good for the wall of flesh? Okay, okay. Very interesting. All right, we made it to hell. There should be enough hellstone. I'm not really trying to make the full molten armor, so just the weapon and the molten pickaxe. So now I just need to mine some obsidian. Okay, got some obsidian here. All right, lava shark. All right, here we go. Let's see what this thing does. Sets your enemies ablaze, enters fire breathing mode for a few seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, that's sick. Oh my god. So it's like a machine gun at first. Damn. No way. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Did it just go through blocks as well? It does. It does. Oh my god. Wait, this is going to be so good. Oh, but it does use a lot of ammo when it does that. Okay. I can't really... I have to watch out for that one. Ooh. And we got the ammo box from the traveling merchant. Let's do that. And the life form analyzer. Alright, that's going to save us a bunch of ammo. Okay, before I fight the wall of flesh, I'm going to go kill some goblin scouts. And then summon the goblin army. Get the goblin tinkerer. And then after I combine some accessories together, then it'll be time for the wall of flesh. Okay, this should be the last one. There we go. Alright, now we can make the goblin battle standard. And let's just summon it. Alright, goblin army is defeated. Now I can search for the goblin tinker. Oh, there he is. Alright, rocket boots and workshop. Now let's see how much this one costs to reforge. 75. That's not bad. Can we get something good here, please? Okay, we'll keep that for now, I guess. Alright, Spectre Boots. And that's basically it. Yeah, I don't have the um, Anklet of the Wind to make Lightning Boots. Alright, let's get this started. Three, two, one, go. Is this any better? It does have longer range though. Ooh, that cleared out the hungries. Okay, so far it's not going too bad. Yeah, this might be the weapon. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, I just don't think the lava shark has enough range for me to attack safely. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god, I was so close. Woo. Let's go, let's go. Alright, we're done. Now we are in hard mode. Now I believe the new NPC should spawn. But we'll give it some time. Alright, let's open the bag. Nice, we got the ranger emblem. Just what I wanted. Alright, let's go to the crimson now and break some altars. So we can start mining the hard mode ores. Alright, we got cobalt. Or calcum and titanium. Okay, I think that should be enough cobalt. Here we go, cobalt pickaxe. And now let's mine some ore calcum. Okay, that should be enough. Now let's make the ore calicum pickaxe. And now we just need to mine the titanium. 
Oh, Aqua the Swimmer has arrived. Okay, we got the new NPC now. Alright, there should be enough titanium now. Let's go back home. Alright, since our weapons are ranged, we're gonna make the range armor set. Titanium helmet, breastplate, and leggings. There we go. Alright, and now let's check our new NPC. So, she is selling bottled water. Okay, okay. This is actually really convenient, so I don't have to mine any sand anymore. And it's cheap too, a copper. And also she's selling the water blunderbuss and also the water balloon bomber. 44 range damage, okay. Obviously we're gonna buy both because I wanna see what they do. This one shoots multiple streams of water. With a full pump, significantly increases knockback, but the holder is thrown back from a strong recoil. And it is bought after defeating King Slime, which we did. Perfect. Okay, let's do the Water Balloon Bomber first. There we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Okay. That's pretty cool. Water Blunderbuss. Three, two, one. Okay. I mean, this one sorta is like the, where is it? The water splitter? In a way, let's see. Yeah, they're very similar. And for the Titanium Reveria, creates a damage zone on impact, unleashes a barrage of harpy feathers. I guess we'll go make this one real quick because we only need four feathers. And since I'm here, I'm going to go farm for Souls of Flight to make better wings. All right, that should be enough. Let's go back home. Now we can make the Titanium Reveria. All right, here we go. Let's see what it does. Three, two, one. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go find a monster real quick, because I don't think I can show you otherwise. And shoot. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what the difference is. Is it just more damage if it's fully charged? So fully charged it is. Well, 46 damage. And then just separate ones. Oh, so it's just more damage. Okay, cool. Okay, and then let's make our demon wings. It's nighttime now, and I think I'm ready for the mechanical bosses. So we'll start off with the destroyer. And for this fight, I think I'll be using the titanium Reveria, especially when it spawns, because I know it's just going to do a crazy amount of damage in that area where it's all clumped up. But yeah, let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, I mean, not as much as I want it to feel, but that's okay. I mean, I am doing a thousand damage per second, so I mean, that's pretty decent. Now, I wonder if using the Lava Shark would be better. So let's try it out. Uh, yeah, no. This is definitely way better. Okay, it's almost dead. And done. Alright, that wasn't so bad. And it looks like we still have a bunch of time in the night, so let's do the let's do the twins next. Let's go. And I think I'll also be using this weapon. Oh, I didn't even right, forgot. I just noticed that this weapon also does the uh the barrage of harpy feathers. I couldn't see it because it was really dark at night, but yeah, so the aura does do more damage, the damage zone, and it summons the feathers. 
Okay, that's one down. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, heal real quick. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Alright, that should be good enough. Alright, and that's done. Okay, all that's left is Skeltron Prime, but it's morning now, so I have to wait till the next night. Okay, let's do this. And it is dead. Alright, all the mechanical bosses are done. Oh, what's this? Hollowed Fisher. Spawns clones of itself. Turned full Skeletron Prime mode. Okay, this sounds really, really interesting. Alright, let's see what it does. Three, two, one. Oh! Wait, but what's the Skeletron Prime mode? Oh, this! Oh, I see! Okay, so there's one that does an explosion. There's two that just shoots water, I guess. And then there is one other that I can kind of control with my cursor that just like stabs. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's make the pickaxe axe and also the hollowed armor set if we have enough. Oh, we do. Oh, perfect. It's exactly enough. There we go. Okay. Now it's time to go through the jungle and get our hands on another weapon. It is called the Chlorophyte Water Sprayer. It has 67 damage, 19% critical strike chance. It says chases after your foes and releases man-eaters that cling onto enemies. So yeah, I'm really interested to see what this thing does. Oh, we got the Anklet of the Wind. That means I can make lightning boots. Perfect. Oh, and I also found the Plantera Bulb. That didn't take too long. Alright, let's make lightning boots. And I didn't mine much uh, chlorophyte. So we're gonna have to go back down to mine some more. Alright, that should be more than enough chlorophyte. Let's go back home. And now I can make the chlorophyte water sprayer. And we got Unreal on it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, it looks like I'll have to attack an enemy for it to work. Oh, what? Um, those aren't man-eaters, are they? Oh my god. Oh, wait, and the water already has um the core fight effect on it. So it automatically homes into, or onto enemies. Okay. Wait, that's, this is pretty strong then, oh my god. All right, time to take on a Plantera now. I think we're pretty ready. Although I'm not sure which one I'll be using for weapons. Um, the Chlorophyte does seem a lot stronger, but once Plantera hits its second phase, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to use the Hollowed Fisher. Just because this weapon for the Chlorophyte Water Sprayer does have the Chlorophyte Bullet effect. So it's not going to be targeting the main body. And I'm just gonna kill the Queen Bee just in case there is a weapon that's going to be added in after I kill it. There we go. And I'll go check afterwards. Alright, I'm all ready. Let's start it up. We'll use the water sprayer first. Or the chlorophyte or water sprayer. Alright, second phase. Let's use the Hollow Fisher now. It's almost dead. Come on. There we go. Okay, that was a bit rough, but we did it in the end. Okay, and since we did defeat 
the queen bee there should be another weapon the chained water gun okay it only has 30 damage but we'll buy it anyways just to see what it does looks to a target and spawns a water fist and it says literally a gun on a chain okay let's see oh so it's like a flail and a water gun combined okay here we go oh okay so it's like a grappling hook i don't think we take any damage when i do grapple with it all right time to fight golem so let's just start it up oh wait no let's put our life regen items first heart lantern the vast statue and the campfire all right three two one go Okay, one hand down. Two hands down. And... We're done. Oh! What? Deadly Ancient Geyser? 91 range damage. Hold up. Wait, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god! Unleashes a geyser under your cursor, spawns a boulder sandstorm. Okay, wait, what? Oh, there we go. Oh, that is a crazy amount of damage. Alright. I mean, it shoots very slow. But, I think damage-wise, I think it's much better than the rest. Can we get Unreal on this thing? Yes, we can. Alright. Alright, let's go take on the Lunatic Cultist now. Wait, am I, I'm actually doing a lot of damage with this weapon. Oh my god. Wow, that went really fast, actually. Alright, so our next weapon that we're going to get is the Rocket Water Launcher. And I believe that the Vortex Pillar is the only one that can drop the fragments to make one of these kind of weapons. Um, so there's no like solar fragments, uh, nebula, or stardust that can be turned into anything. But yeah, we'll be going for the Vortex Pillar first. Alright, Vortex Killer is done. I'll get the fragments. And then, I can make the Rocket Water Launcher. Alright, I don't think this one has a full pump effect. So, let's just see what it does. Oh! Okay. I guess you can compare this weapon to the Stinger that's dropped from Golem. Or even the Seedler that's dropped from Plantera. I love how it costs so little to reforge though. There we go. 124 damage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, this is... This is crazy strong. Oh my god. Okay, I think we might be using this for the Moonlord fight then. And the rockets home in. I didn't know that. Oh, that is sick. Yeah, this is going to be really good for Moonlord. Okay, Nebula Pillar is done. So apparently I can even make special bottled ammo with Chlorophyte and I believe also with Meteorite. There's actually... A whole bunch of ammo that I could have made. So the meteorite makes projectiles bounce, and of course the bottled chlorophyte, which I'm probably gonna use for Moonlord, and home into enemies. Okay, solar pillar is done. Just one more to go. 
All right, I made some bottled chlorophyte. Now this should definitely help with my DPS against Moonlord. Yeah, this is gonna be crazy strong. Oh my god. All right, and that's the last tour done. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm doing a thousand. No, almost two thousand. Yeah, no way. I'm doing so much now. What? Oh, I was close. I'm doing over two thousand damage per second. Okay, that's kind of insane. Okay, that's one eye down. Teleport again. Probably gonna heal up. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's both hands down. And the middle eye is almost dead. Alright, now it's just the core. You're dead. All right. All right, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This mod was actually extremely fun to play. There were so many unique weapons that had second effects for most of them, and I think the balancing of the weapons for progression is spot on. Obviously, there are tons more water weapons that I haven't used, but if you guys want to try it out for yourself, all the mods I've used will be in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Peace.